Microplastics are a growing concern all around the world. These tiny pieces of plastics are found in the sea, land, and in the air. They've also been detected in our bodies. TV5's Colette Boyd has more. The average person consumes 74,000 to 121,000 microplastic particles a year. Duke researchers cite a recent study that says every hour, people around the world discard 5.7 million toothpaste tubes, 570,000 cell phones, and 2.3 million pairs of sneakers. Another recent study found that microplastics can harm the digestive, respiratory, endocrine, reproductive, immune systems, and have been linked to cancer, Parkinson's, and dementia. We are learning more and more as the generations go along. Another team of researchers from Boston University found bacteria exposed to microplastics become resistant to several types of antibiotics. The plastics create a surface for the bacteria to attach to, giving them new ways to infect you. So what can be done to reduce microplastics and exposure to them? It is about really educating yourself on what the sources are, and then what are the alternatives to those products? Avoid single-use plastics like water bottles, straws, gloves, shopping bags, wrappers, cigarettes, beads, and glitter. And only warm up meals in glass containers as heat can release microplastics into the food. The application of temperature does allow some of these chemicals, molecules, to move out of the product so they kind of naturally migrate into the fat in the food. Finally, avoid plastic cutting boards. Use wood, glass, or steel instead. Helping you minimize the risk of microplastics, I'm Colette Boyd reporting.